Hey guys, it's the Pit Buyers. Here we are at Costco, and we're showing you what it's like to shop at Costco with a large family and a child with disabilities. Come join us. So before we get started, we're gonna have something to eat because who goes to Costco and doesn't get a hot dog and some poutine? That looks pretty good. And now with Costco's self-service kiosk over at the food court, you can order your own food. They print you out a receipt with the number and you go and pick it up easily. Makes things that much easier, especially when you got a large family like ours. So Cameron, what's your favorite thing about Costco? That you get to eat really good foods. Like the hot dog, the fries, and the iced tea. There's also other stuff you can get instead of just iced tea. And Evie, what's your favorite part of Costco? The French fries. And what's your favorite part, Keaton? Sarah, what's your favorite thing about Costco? I can't narrow it down. I love Costco. So now that we're done eating, we can start shopping. Let's go. the best time to shop at Costco is about one hour before closing when you have a large family. Most people are leaving and uh, the store is pretty empty as you can see. Makes it really easy to get around. You think one hour is not enough time but when there's no one else in the store you can get through it pretty quick. One thing I love about Costco is these quick meals. They have a large selection of them. They usually put out a different type every couple of months. And for a large family like us, it's great because we can just pick them up, take them home and freeze them, thaw them out the day before we need them, and eat them as a quick meal option when we're in a pinch for something healthy but still quick. Costco's fruits and vegetables and products to be better than most. The seeds will last longer, the seeds will be fresher, and you don't get any unexpected rotten ones when you open up a bag of, say, apples or figs or something like that. Vegetable spring rolls, definitely a hit. What I like about Costco is that all the food, it tastes pretty good. And also there's kids toys and other stuff. And also you can get slime. Cameron, go get some goldfish. One of your favorite snacks. Goldfish. Yeah, I think I too much goldfish. Nonsense, get a box. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Atta boy. Uh oh. 
Sarah found the peanut butter. So that'll be that'll be enough for about what a day. It's the peanut butter bear. Peanut butter. We seem to be having some trouble finding the Lysol. <clears throat> we seem to be having some trouble finding the Lysol disinfectant wipes. But we will persevere. Sarah and Cameron trying a free sample. Here it comes. Oh, it's okay. Uh... Not bad. Frozen berries, because Sarah likes to make smoothies in the morning. More free samples, pork, dump pork dumplings. Oh, does it taste good? It tastes fantastic. Here we are, one of my secret reasons for coming here today. Halloween candy, $2 off. Let's load up. Oh, oh. Loading up on the Halloween candy. Guys, this one. Jackson. Oh, that's a lot. How much Halloween candy are we gonna get? Well, you gotta remember, we get over 400 kids in Halloween. So oh yeah. We need to have enough candy for all of them. And I've done the math. When it's on sale like this, it's actually cheaper to give each kid one full-size bar than to give them like four smaller candies out of a normal box. Did you remember to get this five or one bars? You gotta be healthy, you know. <laughs> All right, small victories. We found the Lysol wipes. I thought it was Halloween.